Hello everybody and welcome. Uh, today I wanted to do the first part of a series of videos to show you how to create uh, subs to SRS in DEX in Anki. Now these are basically Anki DEX which have um, a photo, audio, and the dialogue from a movie. Uh, which you get from the subtitles of the movie, etc. So to do that, what you need is a video with uh, multiple language um, subtitles and audio. So if you have that, uh, then you can make a set of subs to uh, SRS cards for your Anki deck. Now, because this is quite a long process, today I'm only going to cover the first part, which is how to um, turn your DVD into an encoded file from which you can extract the audio and the subtitles and pictures. So, uh, I do this with a program called Handbrake. Uh, it's a free and open source program. I'll put uh, the download links in the description. Uh, and I'm running this on Linux today, so it may look a bit different if you're using Windows, but my Linux machine is the only one that actually has a DVD player. So uh, I had to do it on this. So <clears throat> let's get started. Uh, basically, you open the source video and find your DVD player. It will then scan the DVD, uh, which doesn't take long, only a few minutes. Uh, once it's done that, it will know what the tracks are, what the audio tracks, what the video tracks, what the encoding is, etc. So, um, this particular DVD is a, a cartoon um, Avengers DVD, which I bought. But the reason that I bought it was because it has multiple languages and multiple um, audio and subtitles. <clears throat> so, to get started, uh, by default, it changes it to MPEG-4 format. Now, you do not want this because later we're going to need to extract the um, subtitles. So if you change that to an MKV format or uh, Matstroika, but just make sure that it's MKV down here um, and that the format is MKV. Now, I've just taken the default uh, name which it picked up from the CD, uh, DVD rather, and it's going to stick it in my videos directory. So <clears throat> mostly the defaults are fine. You shouldn't really need to mess about too much. So I'm just going to carry on, use that name. Uh, next I want to go to the audio tab. Now you can see that the first and only audio track that it's going to take is the English one. Um, on your DVD, it may be not English. It just depends on what the primary language is set to on the DVD. In this example, it's set to English. So if I want to add a language, I just click Add and then pick the ones that I want. So I'm going to pick Italian and French. Now you can click Press All or Add All rather, and it will add all of the available ones, all five in this instance. Um, but I only want a couple. Now, the reason I only want a few is I only want to take the ones I absolutely need because it takes a long time to uh, transfer this into an encoded file, depending on your CPU and the amount of memory you have. So if you have a pretty low spec machine or you don't want to wait for ages, then you probably want to make sure that you only take the bare minimum um, that you need. Um, you could just press add all, um, but it will take longer for each soundtrack and subtitle file that it needs to generate. So <clears throat> I'm going to add English, Italian, and French. These are my audio tracks. Now I'm going to go to subtitles, and I'm going to add um, subtitles here. Now, strangely enough, I actually want English um, because I'm going to I'm going to need my native language in order to um, have on the back of the card to show the translation. So uh, you need 
uh, your default language, in this case English, and then I'm going to add the other two languages which I have audio for, which is Italian and French. Now I'll notice I'm not taking the widescreen. It doesn't really matter. Normally you only get one set. Um, this one has two, but normally you only get the one, so it's just pick the ones you need. Now that's pretty much it. The only thing you need to do now is start encoding. It'll do a scan and it will sit there and go for a long time. You can also do add to queue with handbrake, which means you can queue this up to run at some point later um, if you're busy right now or if you want to do, uh, well, if you have more than one DVD player and you want to do more than one. <clears throat> but in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and start encoding. And you see that it starts scanning. It starts doing the first pass of subtitles and audio and all that. Now this is going to run probably <clears throat> on this machine for half hour, an hour, maybe. Um, so I'm just going to let that go and I'm going to end the video here. Now the next thing we're going to do uh, is look at the, the final result, the encoded file, and I'll show you how to extract the um, subtitles from the encoded file so that we can use those later. So that on the next video, I'll, I'll be using this MKV file that I'm generating to show you how to extract subtitles. Uh, but like I say, for the video uh, comments um, in the comments below the video, I will put the um, links to download this particular bit of software. You don't have to use this one, but it is free and it's open source and it it does just about everything, every DVD you're going to need. All right, thanks everybody and. Uh, Good luck.